Um, why is the government choosing to take this route? I mean, I think the kind of short answer is it is they're out of ideas. <laughs> so they're repeating some previous mistakes. You know, we, we also know that the financial sector is the, big, the biggest lobby group in the country. So they have the most influence over over government, over um, what policies happen. Uh, we actually released a report earlier this year called The Power of Big Finance. We highlighted various ways in which we, in which the financial sector uh, influences Westminster, direct financial ties, lobbying access, and the revolving door it maintains with the public sector. Um, in 2020 and 2021, financial institutions donated more than 15 million to political parties, and most of that was to the Conservative Party. So we know there's a huge power in the financial sector that plays a big role. And so, you know, this is obviously really damaging to our democracy and and why we're kind of seeing this slip through, you know, just before Christmas. Um, and very um, little outspoken opposition um, from within Westminster. So these financial institutions, though, it, it, it is more than possible. They obviously believe they are going to make money out of this. Um, and and what's your case then, that, that this is not going to help the, the wider population? Yeah, I mean, as we've seen with the current energy crisis, you know, oil and gas companies making billions of pounds doesn't really do it anyone any good if they can't afford to put on their heating, right? And so similarly... Um, you know, banks are already set to make windfall profits due to the higher interest rates on central bank reserves. Um, so for nothing, just because interest rates have gone up. Um, at the same time, millions are struggling. And, um, you know, the, the government keeps um, talking about its concern, you know, for every every member of the country, uh, every member of the public. But actually, by deregulating the banking sector, by allowing them to continue with windfall profits, we're taking um, things in the wrong direction uh, on, on tackling the cost of living and creating a fairer uh, and more green economy.